All right, so this tutorial right here is gonna be like, it's like a taper fade with a twist on top. You're gonna line up his beard, give a light, like a little bit of a blend. Um, I'm using the Fast Feeds. And a lot of you guys know about the Fast the fast Feeds 360Gs. He made them really popular. They, I mean, they were my first pair of clippers because of people like 360Gs on YouTube and stuff. So shout out to him for that. But I just started using them and I like them. Also, quick update. We just opened up barbershop number six. It's in Lando Lakes, Florida. So if you're in the area, definitely go check that out. You guys can see the whole process, the journey. We doc I've been trying to document, you know, the, the growth on my business side of, of the industry as opposed to just the haircutting side of the industry. So you could check those out in our in the vlogs that I that I do. And like always, I appreciate you guys watching. Definitely subscribe. Enjoy. <sighs> Alright, got another haircut tutorial. And this one it's been like a week since he got his hair cut, so we don't have to do a lot of bow cutting and he's keeping the top. But this is like a temple, like a temp fade. You know, I wouldn't call it a blowout or a taper. I would say the temp fade because it's pretty high. Um, on the sides, we want to keep it a one. But right here, we're just doing our first initial guideline with the outliner blade. Here we have the Austin Fast Feeds with the lever closed. There's no guard. And we're just blending up from where we started that initial guideline. And every quarter to a third inch, we're um, adjusting the lever. We're pushing down on the lever from the front of the, of the clipper in order to make the blade longer, if that makes sense. And that's gonna, you know, this is the, to me this is the most important part of the blending, um, the blending phase. And here we're starting to blend in the beard because we have no guard on so we might as well do it. And we're going from, we're doing the opposite. So we're going, instead of from close to open, we're doing the same thing a third at a time or a quarter of a time from open to close. Here we have the number one guard open. And right where the, the, um, the ridge is, we're going to bring the one, the one open. And now we have the one closed. And we're going to go right underneath that. especially around where the taper area is. And here we have the number zero guard or the 1 16th. And this kind of just brings everything together from the Austin Fast Feeds all the way open with no guard to the number one guard closed. The number zero just brings everything together. And you can see I'm pulling at the scalp. It's, it's to get into hard to reach places. But at the end of the day, he he's walking around with no one pulling at the scalp. So you want it to look blended, no matter what, you know, on a, without someone pulling at the scalp. That makes sense. So here I'm blending without pulling at the scalp. <laughs> and you know, it's gonna be trial and error, especially if this is the first time cutting this particular client. It's gonna be trial and error. You're gonna have to figure out how to execute this haircut the best way as you go. And we have number one guard or the number zero guard on, so we might as well use it on the beer and start playing this part of it. And this is one of my, yo, this is one of my awesome clients. I've been cutting his hair since I began, since I started barbering. He's been a, he's been a very loyal client, so just wanted to show him some love and let him know I appreciate him for that. Let me know in the comments, like, I know you guys have these type of clients that will follow you no, no matter what. He's followed me to three different areas, three different locations. He had, I think that was the number two guard. And the number two is when things start to get really dark. One and a half is like, is dark, but a little bit light. The number two is when it's dark. The color tone of the hair, at least. And then we're gonna take the Andy shaver and we're gonna make it like real tight here. And this just gives a little bit of more oomph in the in the in the taper in the blend. And you can see I've been I've been trying to keep the the front hairline area a little bit darker just so when I line it up it pops. We're gonna do the same exact steps on this side. There's no captions. I sped it up a little bit more. But you guys can watch for the most part and see it's the same steps
Listen, guys, one thing about me, man, I actually work in a barbershop. I'm actually booked every single day. And it's it's hard for me to pick and choose who I'm going to record, you know, who I'm going to do a tutorial on. But for the sake of continuously, continuously creating content, whatever's in my chair, if I got a little bit of space, like a 15-minute, you know, margin, then I know I can record a video. So I'll ask that client. I don't pick and choose. So whoever sits in my chair, that's who, and and the the time is right. That's who I'm gonna cut, and that's the tutorial, tutorial that I'm gonna, you know, put on my channel. So just so you guys, you know, get some kind of insight on that. I don't pick and choose. I don't have models, you know. Same thing with the beard. The, the same tips that I told you on the other side, that's what I'm doing here. Here's the number two. And I I don't just cut hair, guys. I, I own businesses. And you guys can see, you know, that aspect of my life in the vlogs, but... Here, of course, like you, of course, you gotta pull on the scalp. This is the number two guard, and I'm just blending, you know, the bulk of the top because we're gonna leave it long, we're gonna leave that length. Just kind of, you know, cleaning it up so it looks a little bit more blended into the taper. I'm using wall detailers here, wall detailer trimmers. I gotta do a tutorial on these. I'm not a huge fan, like these aren't my go-to trimmers, but it, you know, they're top three, definitely. And right now my T-Islanders are acting up. So this is all I got. But nonetheless, you know, if, if you're a fan of detailers, I definitely, you know, I could definitely see why it's not like it's not like I'm gonna say you're, you're using terrible trimmers. And he's a little bit, you know, his hairline is almost like a peak in the middle. So we start at that peak, and here you can see I'm I'm using I'm freehanding with the detailers to get you know that bulk of hair off of his hairline. Because sometimes you'll get some bang action that kind of gets in the way of people being able to see their their lineup so you got to kind of freehand that out the way but we start at the peak and we keep that as natural as possible and then we line everything else up one thing about the detailers they're not very forgiving and sometimes that that blade that cutting blade gets adjusted by itself all of a sudden you're nicking people but they cut sharp if you got them right and you can see with the lineup it's coming to life the cut is coming to life wait till i use that razor though 245 shave gel and the razor is really gonna bring this cut to life Here in the neck area, I'm very light handed. This is the most sensitive area on a client and they'll appreciate it, trust me. Freehand in this area, look, it seemed a little bit dark, but detailers, they're, I believe they're rotary motors, so you can freehand with those wet or dry hair. You could line up wet or dry hair. That's one of the pros of the detailers. Alright, here we go. 
245 Shave Gel. Comes in a straight applicator bottle designed for barbers by barbers. It's available at 245.com. I appreciate everybody who showed love, everybody who showed support with 245. Like, it's been amazing. Like, I watch other people's YouTube channels, YouTube videos, and I'll see in the comments somebody shouting out 245 Shave Gel. So, man, that, you know, it goes to show that it's not just because you guys support me, but you guys believe in the product. So, thank you. You guys see, even though I passed the shave, I passed the razor too there. I don't know if I can get, you know, it gets a little bit closer, but I think, I think it almost gets more morale during the haircut, like your client, like me as a client, if somebody put the razor on the taper area and I wanted a ball taper, I'd appreciate that. So that, that almost builds, um, cool points with you and your client. And one thing I do that a lot of barbers don't do is I wipe away the debris. You know when you when you're using the razor and you obviously you're pulling dead skin and and debris from the shave gel and stuff, it makes that line look crispy. But I wipe that off because I don't want it to look crispy because there's debris there. I want it to look crispy tomorrow after he takes a shower. I want it to be real results. Hope you guys can relate with that. And this is a technique guys for my clients to do so that I can get above the mustache so that's a comfortable shave. Funny story with my client right here, man. He put me on to Cooper's Hawk, the wine, the wine restaurant. Changed changed my, <laughs> changed my relationship with my wife, man. Like I don't know if you guys ever mess with Cooper's Hawk. But these are the type of things that clients will help you with. Like he brought me two bottles of Cooper's Hawk wine. And my, my wife is real picky with wines. And because of this guy, like my wife, she loves the Cooper's Hawk wine. And now we, we're almost, you know, it's, it's set. There's a set date. Like we have a date every single month because of this guy. So I think what I'm going to start doing with these tutorials, I'm going to start sharing some some stories because with every client you have a story you build that relationship with a client you have a story and this guy right here man when he put me on to cooper's hawk wines it changed my relationship with my wife like now we we have that date every single month no matter what because of this guy so that's my story with with this client In the comments, you you know, share some dope stories that you that you have with because of your clients. We all have them as barbers. We all have them, and if you don't have them, you need to look at yourself in the mirror and figure things out. Cause that's what we are as barbers. Of course, the shave on the neck, clean things up. Now we're gonna style the cut at the end of it. Gotta style the cut. Put some product in there, let them know what you used. Sell some product. Take a page from the salons. And after I style it, I still like to line it up, clean up, because you might have some scragglies that go, you know, over the, the hairline. And some nice, clean smelling aftershave. And that's it, that's the experience at Headlines Barbershops. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share. Love you guys. Appreciate all the support. See you on the next one.